Hello and good morning. For today's class, we will learn about location awareness and context awareness in terms of mobile technology. So what is location awareness? So location awareness is a concept of delivering content to mobile users based on their physical location. So uh, the physical location plays a key important factor for delivering content. So um, the main reason for having a location awareness because we want to avoid noises. So with location awareness, most applications can provide users with important information about their surrounding or based on their surrounding. This in fact would filter out unimportant data or unimportant information or noises so that the user won't be burdened with information overload. So let's look into the location awareness implementation in Android devices. The location awareness is trivial to implement in Android application. This is because the Android compatibility definition have uh, already stated that uh, handheld devices are strongly recommended to include GPS or GNNS uh, receiver. So, Android compatibility documentation is the prime documentation of mobile devices to follow if they want to get Android certification. So, if the Android compatibility documentation has stated that handheld devices are strongly recommended to include GPS receiver, then it can be ensured that all mobile devices or mobile phone would include GPS. So, this would facilitate location awareness to be included in and write mobile application. So these are the most popular location-based applications. So we can see here a uh, popular logo uh, from uh, popular application, uh, which includes Uber, Lyft, Expedia, and then uh, Google Maps, Waze, and so on. So here are some of the application that produces location awareness. So we can see that uh, this is a Traveloka application. Okay, and most of them would request to access the device location. When you allow it, it would uh, list out uh, the hotels near you, and then it will list down this uh, hotel, right? the name of the hotel, the code uh, for the prices, and then also the distance from your current location, and so on. Location-aware application is also able to deliver news uh, to you. So relevant news according to your location. So if you are living in Malaysia, then you will get all the news that are related to Malaysia. So you can see all the news being delivered to your phone based on this Google News application. So you can read uh, all the relevant news on the hour, by the hour, so the latest news that are relevant to you. And then uh, you can look into the Expedia application, click things to do, for example, and then it would provide a suggestion of interesting places nearby your location. They can detect interesting places nearby you. So this is an example if you live near Joko Jaya. And then if you are in Thailand, near Bangkok, so what you can do in Bangkok, okay, you can list out the price, estimate distance to this location, as well as the hours, the recommended hours that you can spend and there. Right, uh, how does location awareness work? So it works by retrieving the location from the GPS satellite. You get, you get the GPS coordinates. Then the GPS coordinate is being sent to the phone and then the phone will make an API call uh, to the API interface on the cloud. And then this would retrieve the uh, data from the database, relevant data, it make a query from the database so that you could retrieve the nearest uh, location based on the latitude and longitude and then sometimes you can also retrieve the uh, data based on GeoHash the GeoHash is an algorithm that simplify the query of geolocation yeah, according with name and other uh, details then it will send back uh, the data to the mobile devices and then the mobile devices will list out the information on the screen and so this is how the location awareness application would work in the backstage. Next, we look into content awareness. Content awareness refers to the capability to take account into situation of entities. The content awareness application can sense the situational environment and enable appropriate interaction between the users and the system. So in this case, enable uh, appropriate interaction between the user and the mobile application. 
You can scan around the environment like pies. You can scan around your habits. You can scan around the sensors. And then you can also scan around your user profiles. And then you can make uh, the suggestion or recommendation to be delivered to you. So this is what uh, content awareness is about. So content awareness originates from ubiquitous computing idea where it can help users to perform their daily activities while reducing information overloads and also it can help to hide or conceal operational complexity from the user effectively making it self-invisible to the users. And then the location awareness is also a subset of context awareness. The location awareness is not a different thing and it's actually a subset of content awareness. So when you uh, talk about location awareness, you are also talking about context awareness. But if you are talking about context awareness, it does not necessarily mean it also applies to location awareness. The context awareness are much more vast and general than location awareness. So to produce a context awareness application, context awareness application must take account into location awareness, then activity recognition, and also profiling from the user profile. These are some of the context awareness example. So from the YouTube, you can present video recommendations similar to the content or videos uh, that the user have watched or the other users similar to the users that have watched. And then we have also Amazon or other online e-commerce platforms such as Shopee or Lazada which lists promotions and discounts based on previous user browsing history and purchasing habits. And then we also have our Google News which display news according to the user's locations and topic of interest extracted from the user's keyword and search history. So when you are searching from Google search engine, so these collective data are being profiled by Google News and then it will represent to you the news that best match with your searching habit and then your browser's history or keywords search history and also your location. So it can always deliver to you the most up-to-date news and the most relevant news that are of interest to you. Yeah, here are some of the technology involved in context awareness, the location or GPS. And then you have uh, sensors or activity sensors and uh, that must be taken account into generating uh, recommendation or into sensing the uh, context. So we have accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer. The accelerometer, gyroscope and magne magnetometer can be used to detect your activity. So it can detect either you are cycling, running or taking a uh, riding you know, on a bike or or traveling in a car or in a vehicle it is all important to the context and then it also involves a feature extraction or recommendation algorithm and also machine learning aided profiling to profile your logs or your behavior or your user profiles or gender uh, including your demographic and so on so here are the context awareness and location awareness usage and area. So both location awareness and context awareness application can be used in safety application, news and weather applications, commerce and shopping, traveling and hospitality okay, application, navigational, educational, asset tra tracking and other or, or many more uh, application that may benefit from the use of location awareness and context awareness. So uh, to recap, context awareness uh, refers to the capability of uh, the application or device to refer to situational environment. So this may also include location awareness. So location awareness is a subset of context awareness. So we are, when we are talking about location awareness, we are also talking about context awareness. But the reverse is not necessarily true. So if you're talking about context awareness, context awareness is much more vast than location awareness. It may also include user profiling uh, or machine learning uh, or recommendation or activity recognition and so on. Okay, that's all for our lecture for today. So be seeing you on the next lecture.